How's it going? How's it been? Oh, talk about a crazy day today for me. It's been a wonderful day. It's been fun. I have to say it's been one heck of a ride. So what I'm doing actually today, I know I kind of came up with this last minute early this morning about 4 a.m. So what we're going to do, we're going to play some uh, Resident Evil Revelations. Um, I think the way that this is going to work, because actually I'm about, I'm about halfway through the campaign mode right currently right now. Um, I haven't been playing much of the raid mode, to be honest, so, um, I think what we're gonna do, since my daughter's, like, talking over me, too, at the same time, <laughs> yeah, see, yeah, yeah, she stopped, <laughs> so, uh, what it's, um, I know it's obtaining some data from there, so what we're gonna actually do, I'm going to, um, see where raid mode is at first, I was thinking it's going to be story mode, but let's see where I'm at first, because I know story, I'm pretty far into it. Yeah, see, I'm more than halfway into it. And if I played the campaign, I'd be spoiling a lot for some people. And I think I've only got about three more chapters left until I'm actually done with the campaign. Um, ah, where am I? Where am I at? At the Regalia Solus. i got to find something, if I remember correctly. Um, I did say story mode. So, uh, let's check something real quick. I think if I do a new game, hmm, you know, I'm just going to continue and then we'll see where we go from there. Um, we'll probably be switching, honestly, uh, between the story mode and also from the story to the, uh, actual raid mode. So, uh, I've gotten them out. Um, I tried fixing it. I'm just going over what actually has happened. So, uh, and of course, he can't do the authorization to get them out of there. I think I'm way past feet, but I can't remember to actually back them up to get out of where they are. I think I've actually saved in the middle somewhere. I think I've done part of the storyline. The head of the deck. You get a thing first. Oh, there we go. I didn't think I dodged the heck out of that guy. Oh, my God. I don't know how the heck I did that. Oh, yeah. I'll watch out, all right. Okay. So, we got that. UAV. I don't even know where the hell I'm going, dude. I think I can go this way? Aha! Hello, keycard. If I remember correctly... I don't even know what guns I even have, honestly, to tell you the truth. So let's see... Grab that. Uh, no. Let's, uh. Yeah. Change that weapon. Picked up a python. Yeah, buddy. Oh, God. Got that dude came out of the corner. Eh, I made you die. So, if I've got to get to the deck. I've got the key card. What have I not opened? Okay, I know where I gotta go. I'm gonna go this way. I'm gonna go back upstairs. See if there's anything else here. I don't think there is. Okay, got that thing. 
Let's go upstairs before that guy comes to life. Okay, so we're going to search every nook and cranny we can for certain things that we may or may not need. I'm going to run through everything. Oh god, there's that ugly guy. Go upstairs. Before he kills us. Because I know he will. Run around. Go over here. Howdy. We're going to basically search anything and everything we can. I know that. Oh crap! I oh, forget this ugly woman shows up here. I forget she can show up anywhere now. Um, because in this version on the console, different things can happen in here, which is really nuts. And it's really hard. It can get really. Oh crap. Oh, God. That was luck. Oh, shit. Stay off me, ho. Damn it. I said get off me. Stop it, Rachel. I got time for shit. Oh, my God. I know she's right on my trail. Ah, oh, crazy ass. Get off me! Get off me! No! Oh, oh crap! Get off me, you psychopathic thing. Oh shit. Okay. I got this. Move out of my way, dude! Damn it, Parker! I think we just have to avoid her. Let's get out of here. Uh, yeah. Stay down. I gotta come in here. Thank you. I think... There's really nothing in here. Man, I really need to find some health. I'm about to die. This is es uno bueno. I think she chases you too during certain sections. So we gotta watch out certain corners and things are going. Ah, oh, fuck. Damn it. Did you just go down? That's what I wanted to do. <laughs> like, ah! Okay, I got him. Oh, please, for love of God, have something good in here. Alright, let's get out of here. Where the heck? I'm going the wrong damn way. So. Let's see. Um, if I have to go back. And of course where I am. I think I have to go into the hallway where Rachel was at. Let me see. There. Let's see if I'm right about this. Go down. This 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 way? That's where I came from. No, I'm going the wrong way. So I wanna go. For this section. Am I right? Am I going wrong? I think I'm going wrong. I am going wrong. Shoot. I get lost real easy on this map. I don't know why. It always threw me for like a weird place to go because of half the things you have to do. Yeah. 
Shoot. Oh well. So, I died. Let's try that again. Um, I don't like to get a trophy that has something to do with not continuing. So let's try that again. We'll just skip the actual movie this time because it'll make us replay it again. Thought I turned that stuff off for like all the captions. I guess I didn't. Okay, so where I'm at, these guys are gonna show. About to die. Gonna get a health spray. Gonna get health. Ah, bastards. So let's go. God damn it. Bro. Don't fuck with me. Oh shit. Let me try to run a big circle. If we can. Cool, he helped me kill him. Thank God. No. Oh. Pretty ugly. Okay. Got him. That works. Alright, so let's go for the actual. That's all that was there. So let's go for the actual Magnum first. It's going to help us to where we need to go. The suicide note, which we did not get last time. Oh, wait, we want to change it with the uh, this. Yes, refill. It's gonna pop out. Yes, he should. Yep, there he goes. Cool. Oh. Hey, stab him. Duh, weapon attack. Okay, so we got that. Let's keep going. Let's go back upstairs. That's what I should have done earlier. Go in here. Grab my handgun bullets. Go in here. Grab this. Custom parts. We're not going to go that way. We're going to actually go... Let's refill everything first. Let's go this way. Actually, you know what? I just remember we should go this way. Because of the fact we have that one thing we need to get. Ah, screw it. Actually, no, that was some illegal parts. We'll just skip buyer and then go get it and come back. That's what we're going to have to do. So. Because now I know I'm headed the right way, so. Because we want to use the deck. Oh, sorry, guys. Uh, to get... Yeah, no, we gotta go to the four deck. There's so many places I've gotta go. So just in case I need it. Oh shit, now she's not here. See, and she appears randomly. 
inside the whole ship. Ah, crap, you bastard. Cut it out. There. Okay. Yeah, I already got him. She might appear here. That's a possibility. Because she appears randomly. Damn it, you jackass. I wasn't trying to die. God, I hope she doesn't appear here. Okay, so let's grab this. Back just in case she shows up. Because she may actually still show up. It's never a guarantee, but it can possibly still happen. And she can actually show up anywhere, honestly. It's like random. She never appears in the same place twice, but she can always reappear somewhere. Okay, so let's go down. Let me see if I'm headed the right way. No, I'm not. So I gotta go the other way. So yeah, I'm going the right way. So I need to head this way. I'm gonna head in here. I gotta be careful because she might be in here actually. This bitch shows up in like the weirdest spots. And I hate it when she shows up too. Alright, so that guy's there. What's over here? Ah, hell, two of them. I'll let Parker take care of him. He can do whatever the hell he wants to. Oh shit. There we go. Almost there. Ah, oh, crap. Thought I had it. <clears throat> Let's run by him as fast as we can. There, stay down, bastard. Yeah. All right. Got another thing. Yes, sir. Okay, so now we're going to go. Hey, look, more handgun bullets. In case, just look everywhere. <laughs> Nothing. Turn back around. We're gonna come in here. Switch around some gun stuff. So now that I picked up some stuff, the cool thing is, is that you still keep the guns, so they actually still reappear. It's just that they'll reappear as like they're back in the toy box, which is kind of nice. So uh, what I'm going to do is store this away for later exchange it for the mp5 I'm going to see what I've got so that's a damage one so let's add some stuff to this let's give it the firing rate. Let's up the damage. Let's 
that seems pretty good for now. If we find more along the way, we'll get more. Now we're going to use this to go to where we want to. Now, we want the upper cabins because there's a thing we can grab from there before we hit to where we want to. Yeah, there's a shitload of these guys too. way and turn around and go in there hey okay. I'm confused as to where the hell we're going now shit I think we're just here we're just on a different side of the map let's go in here you buddy I ain't got all day oh, this is where I was when I started it so Stop it. Jerk face. I ain't got all day for your crap. Now. I want to get to that four deck. But the only way to get there. Oh. Let's go back to the elevator. Screw this. I'll be here all damn day. Can't waste these bullets. We're going to need them. Oh, crap. Bridge. We were at the lower cabins. Let's try the bridge. See what happens. Oh yeah, key card. Yeah, no, we're getting there, buddy. Give it time, just in case we need it. This way. Then we want to go down. Just in case we miss anything, we're checking every new can cranny, go down. At 62%. Come in here. Another gear kit. Then we use this other elevator to get to where we need to. That's what we want. Yeah, we can go to where we need to. Okay. So to go to the deck? Come on. So we're not going to go out there yet. 
because gross shit's about to come in. Grab this other gear kit. More custom illegal parts. Thing from here before we head out. I think I technically have. Yeah. Okay, so let's get out of here. Use the key card there. Use the key card there. I'm gonna grab this herb here. Oh yeah, this part sucks. This is a cool thing. Whew, all right. Goodness gracious, I think we're gonna make it. Uh, we're gonna put on days. On this. And damage of four no I like putting the damage four technically on the biggest gun you have so let's put the damage on that there we go Stay right behind the box and be a cheater. Eat that. Good because we kind of needed that. We're going to take this because that sounds good. I'm gonna keep stuff away from us. I think if I remember correctly. Oh crap. Open this box and take what's in the crate. Uh, let's go for the shotgun. Trusty little hammer. Oh, shoot, we're almost out there. Oh, crap. Need to stay alive. Let's open up this. What do we get? Rifle ammo. That's a plus. Open up the UAV. What we got in the crate? We got stuff. Good, because we needed all the stuff so we can kill things. The Federal Bureau of commissioning. No, I don't remember. <laughs> uh, how long is it been? One whole year. I think it's federal uh, bioterrorist committee. I think if I remember correctly. Okay, so results are not great. We got our save. Save it. I think that's just the first half of this chapter seven. I could be wrong. Go to next. All right, so let's see where we go to now. Now that we're on the deck, I think we got to fly around and kill stuff, or we send out something. We need this launched as far as possible. Set 
I think after this one we got like three more chapters actually if I remember correctly. So now that we got all that. The cool thing is, is like if you grab all the ammo before you start up, at least you start getting more ammo. So now we gotta go... This way. The cool thing I like about this one is how much it actually goes into depth before you hit into chapter 5. This is actually a prequel between, um, chapter, um, you know, Resident Evil 5, and more particularly, um, the, um, it's a prequel for, uh, uh it's a prequel to, um, Lost in Nightmares for Resident Evil 5. So it kind of shows you where it shows all that happening. So, through this part, you just gotta try to get out as fast as you can. And you gotta watch where you're going. No, we don't. And you have to try to kill stuff as quickly as possible. As you keep going through everything. And of course, I suck. I like hitting all this shit. <laughs> Try to get as much stuff as I can out of my way. I'll try to get as much as I can if I can, possibly. Oh, hey. There. There we go. Oh crap. Okay. So you only get like a little bit of time to actually get through everything, so now it, it, as long as I've got three and a half minutes, I might... We gotta keep in mind there's all sorts of shit in the way too. And all crap. Oh, and this guy. Hey, buddy. Stay there by Parker. I said stay there by Parker. Damn it. Son of a bitch. Bye. We gotta go. If I remember correctly, this chick shows back up in here. Her name's Rachel. <laughs> Trying not to. Shoot, I want to get the hell out of here, dude. Come on. <sighs> no shit, Sherlock. I wish there's a way you could skip these little mini movies, especially with this stuff, because it starts timing you. And it still takes down time to do all this shit. Yep. God, you would think so. She just doesn't stop coming. It's like the force that just wouldn't fucking stop. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. God damn it. No, I don't want you to be mine. I don't want to be yours. I want you to get off me. 
Like, no. I don't know. But holy shit! Get out of my way! Check, yes. Shit. God, get off me! Fag. Asshole. With the ammo case. Let me get past this. Must go this way. Must go this way. Crap. Yeah, this part always ends up killing me because either she shows up or something else will kill me along the way. Alright, so let's try that one more time. Go back in. Alright, so no continues. Try it one more time. Now that we know what we're expecting, maybe I'll get a little bit better with the ammo. Let's try the campaign again. I think, honestly, this, this game only has ten chapters and then you're done with it. Let's skip that. Yeah, it always shows like when you restart it or something happens. So we're back in the control room, so at least it starts us there. It doesn't start us very far. Grab what we need. Get the hell out. Ah, damn it. I want her to quit. I just want her to get off my back. Ah. Every time, man, I swear. Oh, look, and it brought down my time more than before. So here's what we're going to try to do. Get off. Thank you. And then we're going to get down. I'm gonna try to go up here. Oh, it's locked from the other side. Oh yeah, we have to wait till we go around. This is the one thing I hate. Get off! Ah, oh, God, I really hate her. She annoys the shit out of me. So we're gonna go this way. Go around. I have to go this way. Oh crap! Get off! Oh hell! Look, all the things I gotta go through. Oh, yeah, there's like a shitload of things there here that are horrible. Oh, I forgot how much I hate this part. Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, yeah. We're just gonna run past him if we can. If I don't die from this crazy thing here. Picked up a rocket launcher. Get off! No! Oh my god, I'm almost there. I'm almost there. Oh! Oh! Gotta go! Oh my god. Where the hell is it? Oh, I barely made it! Three seconds to spare! Oh, God! <laughs> I didn't think I was gonna make that at all. <laughs> it's like a clutch. Oh, shoot! Three seconds to spare and I make it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Three seconds. Ah, that, 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 good. That, 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 good. That, that, that pretty good. <laughs> He's gonna try to blow us out of the water. So, yeah. That was, that was, that was pretty good. I didn't think that was gonna actually make it. And I was like, oh, snap, Rizzle. Oh my god, just let me make it. Well, uh. Oh my god. We get to see the fun little stuff happen. That's our ship going haywire. We made it through the chapter. I about nearly died. Oh god. Made it. Oh look, I got an S. Hey. Alright. <laughs> yeah yo. So there's two little small sections. It's like the fastest part of the whole freaking game, actually. And of course this game was technically built for the 3DS. Um, 
back in 2000, I want to say 2007? 2007 is how old this game is, or 2005. Let me look at it real quick, because I'm looking at the back of the game. I don't think it really states. No, oh, no, 2012. Sorry, sir. You know, it's a little dated, um, since it's 2017, um, and it's another remaster of the same thing, pretty much. Um, pretty much an awesome game. I would definitely suggest, you know, to anybody who's never played it, definitely try it out. Especially if you love Resident Evil as much as anybody else. Uh, it's a really fun game. Um, um, when I actually do do this again, uh, I'm going to actually play it from the beginning. Um, I think here in about two weeks. So technically I'll probably get through this pretty far tonight. And every time you always come through like a chapter, the only one that it doesn't do it with is the first chapter. Like it shows what happened previously on Resident Evil Revelations each time you hit a chapter because it was technically built for the 3DS just so you could play it on the go as you're playing uh, portably. Uh, so when um, they recreated it and brought it out for a remaster through uh, PlayStation 3 and also on, I think on Xbox 360, and Wii U, they all got it at the same time. Um, what it was is that um, they, some of the enemies got harder than what they were in the other one. Like for example, in, in, uh, not to spoil too much of the storyline, but in this, you technically fight a tyrant at the end of the whole game. So it kind of went back to its roots. The cool thing that was great about it is like when you thought, wow, when Resident Evil 6 was about to come back, I come out. I think it was months later, because this came out technically, I think, March, um, February or March time frame on the 3DS, and then months later you were going to get 6. So how you do the customization on the weapons was how you thought technically Resident Evil 6 was going to play like. Like, you were going to get all these little parts as you went through the game, and as you got all the different parts, you could attach them to the weapons, and you were like, oh man, this is going to be totally worth playing 6, because you're going to have all this way to customize the actual weapons, and do all this. at least that's what I thought. That was my intent for the game, so I'm thinking, oh, okay, so 6 is going to be really fun, because every time you go through the game, you could possibly find something that you could attach to your weapon to make it a little bit better than what you've just gotten, because you're going to get this basic gun with the basic gun you're going to be able to add these little perks well then the only thing that they really did it for I don't think they really did it for the campaign but they did it for um, oh, excuse me sorry wasn't your campaign but they did it for your um, uh, not the campaign but the uh, uh, what, what's the mercenaries now because you could do like partners or something like that and that's how you would upgrade the weapons I think you'd upgrade them in storyline but then you'd get one depending on what difficulty you beat it at it's been so long since I played six and six was just a pain in my ass so I was like yeah fuck forget this so I quit playing it um six was like the worst one in my opinion to me so in this one you get water coming through so let's make it out of the flood We have to get out before we die. And things can actually kill us as we're getting out of this flood part. We just gotta grab all this stuff. We gotta try to get out of here as quick as possible. Grab some pos custom parts if you can along the way. And possibly try to find some handprints. There's handprints throughout the whole game that you have to find. The handprints don't do much other than the fact that it just... The stuff you've gotta find for certain things you may need.
We gotta get out. I think that's what we're supposed to do. The cool thing about this is like with the swimming mechanic, at least you can find certain weapons, certain things that you might have missed in certain areas here and there. And um, so it's a little bit way different than the other Resident Evils, which makes it very fun, very, very, very unique. That's where we need to go. dented. I gotta get up and get air before I die. So let's go back down. Of course it'd be those weird little fish guys. Little bastards. Let me go this way. Hey. You couldn't get me. I forget I wanted to go in here just to come get some ammo and stuff, so. And these guys, man, I swear to God. They're annoying as shit. Ow! Darn it. If I get caught again, I think I die. Crap! Get off! Oh man, I was almost there too. Ah, oh, damn. Oh, hell. Alright, let's not continue. Go back to where we were. I think it saves it back to where we actually opened the door before Chris started talking to us. So, let's go there real quick. Let's continue. And skip this bad boy. Alrighty. Let's get a move on, shall we? Let's do this better than we did last time. So, let's make it out of the flood. Yep, right there where he starts talking to us. We go here, and we go up, pick up some weapon stuff. Let's go up for air. Go back down. go this way because of this ugly guy try to sneak right past him real quick again there got in grab that go up catch some air go back down oh hey look more ammo I missed earlier 
Go back up again. I'm gonna grab those illegal parts. We're gonna go up. Do we go up? I'm gonna grab them. We go up as much as we can. Crap. God damn things. Get off me. We go this way. Go on down. Open the door. Grab some shotgun shells. Oh my god. Get out of the crazy ship. Down one more time. there. A few more steps to go. This is where I came from. That's where I came from. Um. Yeah. Okay, well, shoot. Um. How the hell? Oh, huh. Grab that. We go up. through this. Ah, hell. I hate how, like, every time when I play it, this somehow I end up tapping the damn controllers or no.
What do I got? Some rifle ammo. I think this is where I gotta go. Apparently so. I'm saving the heck out of it. Oh, what's that? More handgun ammo. Uh, more? We're like, no, we want to get out of here. We don't want any of this stuff on us. Please, for the love of God. Get some more rifle ammo. And I think anything and everything we probably missed should be in here. So we picked up some more stuff along the way, which is great. So let's upgrade this. So we've got a fire rate one. And we're going to upgrade this, actually, for some damage. Let's put the damage 3 on there, so we can up it by 40. We're going to put in... Let's see, what else do we got? So we got some stopping power. We want to take that with us for sure. Mm. Excuse me. Do a burst if we can, but we can't. So set our damage go up a little bit, and our rate fire is really good. Let's put our rate fire up more. Our days is really worth it. Yes. Okay. So let's get out of here. Shows another mini movie. Hear that? Huh? There. There. So we're through our midway point of it. We got an S, which is awesome because you get more points. The points are actually used for the in store for your raids. Um, which is really good. It's never really used for anything inside of the game, honestly. And it gives you an auto save, which is nice. So the minute we hit this part, this part's actually pretty easy. I think you play as Chris and you gotta go around the ship shooting stuff. So after this, we'll quit for the night. Um, the great thing about this is that there's actually an app. For Resident Evil. This is when uh, Resident Evil.net was starting to take really good effect. Um, it never. It did it on the 3DS. Um, they didn't do it on the 3DS as much. It mostly did it on the uh, systems once 6 hit. And then um, after that, it started affecting the rest of them, so which is really nuts. So during this part, you just have to shoot stuff, stay uh, alive, killing different things that you see popping out. That's all you pretty much have to do. Um, and of course, the cool thing about this, this is what makes it kind of weird, is the fact that um, on this... Oh yeah, you gotta cool down. You gotta cool it down. Do a heal. I'm going to try to take out the tentacles as fast as possible. That's all you pretty much want to do. So you don't want to let your meter go up too much. Don't let it go above that. Cool it down. You watch out. Oh crap. 
There we go. We're about to die there. So what I'm actually doing right now while this is actually playing is that I'm logging into my Capcom account to get some extra points. Because if you log in daily, you get more points that gets added to the game. He was a he was a poor soul that was gonna die anyway. So I did okay. I didn't do great on it. Um I'm gonna go ahead and save that real quick. Uh I'll be right back with you. Thanks for tuning in and I'll be right back with you. Okay. Bye.
gracious. Had to get comfy. And you're hearing my daughter talk over here like a crazy person to herself. Well, I'm sorry about that long break, guys. So, uh, probably heard my daughter talking like a crazy person over here because she's busy watching. What are you, what are you watching over here? What are you, what are you watching? She's watching some anime called Hayoki. Haroki. Yeah, close enough. Um, well, before we start back again, I wanted to say I have a friend of mine who's, uh, yeah, okay, actually starting his own YouTube channel with his wife. Um, I hope he doesn't mind me doing this, but um, I got to give credit where credit is due. So check out um, on YouTube squish squash games please um for uh, a few a few of my friends uh they're starting something cool it's going to be an interactive community centered around video games and friendship so you know do on to others as you would on to you so it's going to be a great friendship site all kinds of different fun stuff so check them out uh if you want to check out their youtube uh squish squash games um or on youtube uh, the reason why I say uh, say this is because they're going to do some cool different stuff that I've... That's going to be in a really great original content on there, so... Please, please, please go check them out for sure. Um, so, okay, let's get back to this. We're going to hit the save. We're going to hit the next and do this next part. It's just basically telling me that I started my companion app. I know, I know it blinks out everything. I, that's the only thing I hate about the PlayStation 4 is that it blinks out everything you do. Regardless of what it is, so um, two chapters left. We're gonna get this done. Um, oh, we still gotta get out of the boat. We can't let this virus contaminate the sea. We've already searched between some mariners, so I think I know where this ship's lab is. We're headed there now. All right. I'll try to find a way to delay the sea. Yes, it. You with me? Yeah. All right, so here's what we're going to do. Roger that. We'll take care of the virus. If you buy us some time. Got it. Jill, this works anywhere. Even underwater. Should slow those things down. Thanks, Chris. Also, mark off all the possible locations for the lab. He never got that hint. Drag. Maybe he's already taken. Watch out! Okay, so. So this was all Raymond's doing? No. We've only heard a half story. There's a lot about this mission that doesn't make sense. So we gotta go to the lab. killed him. You know, I did a thing. Good job, me.
back up for air. Crap, I'm gonna die. God damn it! Come on, Jill. Oh, I barely made it. Oh, hey, look, weapon parts that I missed. I think I have to go all the way down and come back up. Hold on a minute. Almost there. dead. So we're basically we're going to the lab, we're going to go up. Go upstairs. We go in here, use the trident key. Fill everything first. All right. I 
And before we do anything, I'm going to take... Oh, we got the M3, did we? We did. So we're going to take everything off the Windheim. Just because the M3 seems to pack a little bit more firepower, if I remember correctly. So M3 is 130 times 6. That's a 160 times 6. However, your firing speed is 74. I think its firing speed is a little bit quicker. See, 94. And you got 6 capacity and 4 capacity. So we're going to pick this and swap them out. So let's change up our stuff. And we get a little bit more better stuff. So we want our damage to be huge. Our fire rate to be nice. We want a burst. Actually, a close hit, and that's pretty good for now. Let's take that. So let's see what we got here. Let's remove... Where is it? Is that what we had? Yeah, so... That. Remove everything. Let's just see what it looks like. It's a 110. So see, this one's a little bit better for it. It's got a 120 with its 750. The capacity it holds is less, but it has a piercing ability for a hit wide zone instead. So let's use this one. What does this one have? That's a 140 with a firing speed of 5. Capacity 30. That's actually better than that. Let's equip some damage. Let's give it a longer magazine. A bind. Seems pretty nice for that. Okay, so now we got that. Let's get back out of here. Climb over. Use our thumbprint to get through. half of the handprints
don't see how you're coming for me, buddy, but yeah, sure. Well, I kind of needed to do that. Oh, my God. Get up. Oh, crap. Almost got knocked the fuck out. Kinda need that. Turn around. Hell is it? Ah, just die already. I forgot how much he, I love the Lightning Hawk. It's just so good. So we're gonna check there. I'm gonna check places real quick. I think there's another handprint in here. Could be wrong. Hey. Tita doesn't know, so let's get out of here. Let's uh go on ahead. I know this is the last part of the chapter, because after this we're actually gonna quit for the night. I know I haven't been streaming long lately, and I know I'm getting back into the groove of things, getting back to where I need to, but I want to see how far this will take us, see where we go to next. Um, as we run through here, we're going to basically just find stuff and just try to uh, get some more stuff, I think, as we go through this. So here, refill. Could be. Okay. So we found the secret of Zenobia after this. I'm going to say good night, ladies and gents. Um, it's been real fun. Tomorrow we'll play a little bit more of this, get through the next two chapters. It's not very um, long at all. Once we're done, we'll kick through some more raid mode, because if I remember correctly, I think I've only played as Jill so far, so I still have a few more things to do um, with it. Um, finally got 15 handprints, now I got the PSG-1, which is a really great gun uh, for what you can do now. Um, so, going to get through what we can. Only got two more chapters left, so I um, appreciate any of you that tuned in tonight. Uh, I want to thank a few people that did come out um, to come check out my stream. So for any of you that stopped by, thanks a lot. If you need anything at all, if you, you want to drop me a line as to, you know, recommendations, what you want to see played, hit me up on Twitter for sure. Twitter.com um, 
backslash crazy gamer if you want to hit me a message on facebook hit me up on facebook.com at crazy gamer dot uh crazy gamer want to hit up my youtube channel i'm on uh this uh, tonight stream for sure is going to go on youtube last night's not going to we didn't talk very much last night i was still getting the groove of things talking in between stuff i'm the kind of person who doesn't like talking in between movies doing things like that so um if you catch me uh catch any of my stuff um good night mom well um any of you need to catch me on any of those social medias go ahead uh go ahead and leave me a message on there for sure uh catch me on youtube uh on any of my old uh vlogs any of my streams leave me a message there but uh more than likely i'd probably answer more of the facebook and twitter more than i would anything else so uh go ahead and hit me up there for sure guys and thanks as always as again have a great night and don't forget to be crazy uh gaming up crazy like you do with you and yours the way you like to and make sure you have a great night um uh, see you later tomorrow and have a great one and i hope to see y'all then thanks very much good night